Now let's look at adding some dependencies. There are a couple of dependencies that I'd like to add. The first is a request library, which lets me make REST API calls from my Node.js project. Uh, you can use the HTTP API that comes with Node.js, but I prefer to use the request API because it's, it's nicer. Uh, the second thing that I need to install is uh, Lodash, or I'd like to install is Lodash because we're gonna be sorting a bunch of uh, objects and Lodash has a really cool utility to sort those objects. We've looked at Lodash in the last unit. Uh, the installation procedure is gonna be very similar. So I'm gonna be installing request and Lodash. Uh, let me go ahead and install those libraries first. I say npm install request the request library and lodash and I'm gonna do dash dash save so that this gets registered in package.json. So I hit enter, it's gonna go fetch those libraries and uh, my node modules folder is created with those two libraries and uh, everything else that it needs. And uh, in my package.json, I've got these two libraries registered. Now we looked at uh, how you can import type definitions uh, using the typed libraries for uh, as many of these popular libraries. So lodash had add types slash lodash. Uh, turns out there is a library for request as well for the type definitions. It is add typed slash request. So I'm gonna go ahead and install those two. If you're not sure about the library that you're using, if it has definitions or not, you can definitely Google it. Uh, the at typed or the definitely typed is a, is a GitHub repo, which has a lot of these really cool type definitions. It's pretty comprehensive. It has a lot of type definitions for a lot of the popular libraries. So if you're using something that's fairly popular, you should, you should very likely see the type definitions there. So I'm gonna go ahead and install them, uh, the type definitions that is npm install at types slash lodash and at types slash request. And these two are development time dependencies, right? They're not dependencies that need to get bundled with the uh, project if you're deploying it to an end user. So the convention is to do save dev. So this indicates that this is a development dependency. So I'm gonna hit enter and it's gonna fetch those two uh, libraries and you have this installed as well.